This is a quick walk around video of a 2005 Ford Excursion limousine. This is an executive coach builder stretch. So this is a Ford Excursion chassis that's been professionally stretched to the size that it's at. It's approximately 31 feet long. So that's approximately a 10 foot stretch or 120 inch stretch as they referred to. This is set up for really 12 to 15 passengers. Plenty of room on the inside. Good looking excursion, good looking limousine. So if you're looking for something to get your business going, add to your fleet, or just have something fun to drive around with your family, go to events, weddings, anything you wanna do. Don't need any special licensing to operate this. It's really not much longer than a truck and trailer would be. So still can get in and out of places. We're downtown Savannah, we go there. Plenty of ways to get in and out. You just have to be very cautious, but again, very maneuverable, good size unit. Again, this is a 2005 Ford Excursion. It's already running, it's very quiet. It does have the V10, which is very powerful for what this can do. So these usually have either the V10 or the 5.4. This, of course, has the bigger V10 engine, plenty of power. 188 on the mileage, not bad at all for 2005. Turn that off. So you got your double den here for the driver. And then you got a, uh, a backup camera as well. It's a little hazy, hard to see with the sun and so forth. But again, that helps, it does have backup sensors. So you got steering wheel controls, but these don't have crews, of course, for safety. Again, coach builder right there, executive coach builders. So you got all your controls right here for the back. You can uh, adjust the lighting, turn on and off TVs, turn the air conditioning, run the divider, so forth and so on. And again, while you're driving, you can use your own stereo system that's not affected by what's happening in the rear. Um, and you can also have the rear completely off. Uh, this is just an extra control for one of the auxiliary TVs. Pretty clean inside for the driver. You got your controls for the air conditioning for the back. So you basically have three AC systems. You've got this one for the front. You've got a separate system for the back. And then the coach builder itself has its own air conditioning. So plenty, plenty of cool, plenty of comfort there. Um, driver's seat, a little wear, nothing too crazy. Passenger seat in real nice condition. Again, there's the divider. So if I push down right there, divider goes down. You can look in the back and so forth. Plenty of room. We're gonna jump in there and check it out in just a second. Again, so you got the controls in here to open that up and close that. Give the people in the back privacy. So again, very nice. Overall body's in pretty good shape. Does have a little bit of nick right there. So, but these are, uh, fiberglass as I can tell so not too expensive to repair um, overall the vinyls in pretty good shape so those lights on the sides come on I'll try to do a walk around video at night as well um, again backup sensors let me jump on the roof roof is in real nice shape real nice so that's all ready to go I mean overall it shows really good it is a little bit older unit, but it's probably the last year you can get them. This is, again, it's a 2005 Ford Excursion. 17 inch E-rated tires, pretty much new. I mean, very, very great condition, a lot of tread. So I don't have to worry about any of that. Again, E-rated, so they handle the weight that you got going on in here. Let's jump inside and check it out. Again, you got air conditioning that's already in here for the back. Plenty of room, so you got one couch, two couch, three couch set up. As you can see, seat belts, those do hide away against the cushion if you want them to. And then you got this two seater here and the little nook area back there for comfort, a little bit more privacy. Somebody jump in the back there. You know, cup holders, there's one TV, spin back around, and then you got two other TV, TV there and TV there. Um, skylight and so forth you got some LED lighting easy to change that out you've got your main controls here it's got a great sound system let me hit play on it 
So you got your videos you can put. So the video that's playing here is basically what you see up there as well. Same time, so you can control all that here. Um, you could hook up a, uh, a stick, which is what we got here as well. So you can run Wi-Fi off your phone, play videos here. So. So, sorry about the language. Again, playing videos if you want to. Got nice sound system, not too crazy. Again, two TVs right there. That's the TV that's got that separate control because it had to be added. Um, these are simple 12 volt TVs. You can put some more in here as well. Um, it's got the safety opening there for emergency exit. There as well. And there as well. So some of that stuff is required. Different states, different rules. I mean, very nice interior. Again, 12 to 15 passengers. I've had this on the highway. 75 80 miles an hour very comfortable ride nothing too crazy to report pretty nice inside got the bar got the coolers and so forth for the ice and so forth nothing too crazy to report there put some glasses fine china whatever you need to do to make it real nice um, again so you have controls here for the ac you can let from the front let the passengers control their own air conditioning so again sound system play videos regular stereo as well whatever you want um i don't control any of that music that was played again i was just see the cd in here from folks that were in here before um this is not functioning right here i know the coach builder had a controller there to control some of the areas in the back again that's not functioning um it does have a tiny bit of cargo space let me open up this back so again plenty of room inside for passengers very minimal cargo space not very common as well you can always use this rear row for cargo if you need to throw some suitcases and so forth again does have a nice updated sound system got a memphis sub right there the memphis amp is right there as well so again throw some umbrellas in there small cargo small gear 188 on the mileage again this thing runs great on the highway runs great in town the v10 does give you the power you need to pull into traffic and so forth and build up speed uh, been up and down the highway with it i mean when 188 is not bad at all it's got plenty of life plenty of usability so it's been running right now as you can see very quiet very stylish does have the 2010 updated uh, mirrors so there's a little bit wider mirrors so you can see a little bit better have the blinkers in it as well so that helps out let everybody know you're taking a turn and so forth so very stylish very nice condition you can get in it drive it use it make some money with it whatever you want to do very affordable these are these are very difficult to find the frame underneath it is in really really nice shape let me try to climb underneath it and show you so real no rust issues or anything like anything major just some surface stuff here and there but overall real nice shape get around that exhaust but you can tell but pretty good pretty good shape a lot of these have issues when they're older they've been used up north and so forth let me jump on the other side and show you the frame again real nice shape let me jump underneath there all right great kind of see that a little bit better again pretty nice shape underneath nothing too crazy so very good condition does have that damage i showed you earlier um, has some minor cancer stuff underneath here but it hasn't broken through the vinyl top i mean most of the time you're driving these you're making money with them it's at night so you're looking at a good distance and you pull up you got the sound going it's real nice and comfortable inside 
people don't really care about the exterior flaws that much as long as it's functional going up and down the road and so forth so got any questions let me know um, we could ship it theoretically but you're probably looking a little bit more expenses because it again it is like a about the size of two regular size vehicles again about 31 roughly feet long uh, but very functional very drivable can operate don't need any kind of special licensing so if you got a large family you want to have a good time you want to hit some events tailgating and so forth you want to hit the road put your family in there everybody will have a lot of comfort don't need to take two or three different vehicles to go in some events this is excellent way to doing it normal insurance on it you can get that if you don't do it for hire and again very functional you can drive it it's not much much longer you know, she's looking at a truck and trailer and so forth to operate it so anyway 2005 Ford excursion 188 on the miles v10 gas got any questions let me know and I'll try to do another video of it at night thank you